Good morning, this is a home doc. I just wanted to um, go through and kind of walk the property line of this new lot that was created. It's 8.749 acres that was uh, taken off of the, uh, the parent lot I had there. And I uh, just want to kind of walk through um, the property line and, and since it's kind of like a wonder wonderland out here, had some uh, like an ice storm, snow mix uh, past couple days. So I just wanted to kind of show how things are going and I haven't really worked on it in a couple weeks because of the wet weather and everything. But, uh, but let me kind of give you a, a view here. This is actually the, the road coming in. Actually the road's coming in over here. That's the road coming in. And uh, that's one of the, that's basically the, the corner of the property is on this side over here of the road. And then um, the property line is kind of going beside the actual entrance road going into the building lot is uh, that way. And that's where I was working. If you saw the road build video, I started working on this, uh, cutting this road in here and then break, bringing the uh, ground down about three feet because it's, uh, I won't try to flatten the road out and then get, um, I have some geo fabric it's this road fabric it's like 12 and a half feet wide it goes down and then you want to put crushed concrete on top of that and i'll make a um a primary road uh, bed you know for the road but uh and this is looking down to my neighbors and also a rental house that we have we have a rental property uh on the other side there that um we basically took i took three acres off of that lot it was like about a six acre lot i took three acres off of there added it to the parent lot to make this 8.794 acre lot and um so i merged them together and um did a boundary line adjustment and a family subdivision basically is what i had to do through the county but i uh, like i say the ice and everything's kind of knocking the trees down um you know near the road but let's take a walk here and kind of get a overview and if you like videos like this let me know but um i mean i like i like looking at stuff like this myself so but um this the video might not be exactly as stable as you like but i'm walking in this ice and i don't know if you can hear it or not but there's a lot of ice falling from the trees and but um like i said this is the property line i'm walking down which is beside the road And, uh, but you can see where the road, I was kind of cutting it in. I got a, a pile of dirt there that I was kind of pushing, pushing down in this lower spot, getting rid of this topsoil. But right now it's kind of a muddy mess. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of, um, it's been raining and nasty for the past couple of weeks. So, and that's uh, why well, I've been working on a lot of my heavy equipment. I have uh, a lot of heavy equipment videos on uh, rebuilding undercarriage and, putting brand new tracks on the excavator and so you're welcome to take a look at those if you're interested in kind of stuff like that but uh i was, I was taking this time to to work on those so i'll be ready to start building when it's ready Ooh, man got a mud hole here so uh i got my muck boots on and i highly recommend those i don't get sponsored by them or nothing but man they're there's some awesome boots but um all right well here's uh another see that's the line coming down the road so that's kind of looking the other way and uh, like i said we're going right going right through the woods here so kind of so i'm going basically to the building lot so this road's about 400 and 450 feet long and uh and actually i uh just talked to the the septic um, soil scientist. I uh, just talked to him about the drain field uh, permit and getting that laid out. So we're, we're kind of getting that laid out for a basement. And um, I will show you where the drain field is going to be and how we're going to run the septic and the lines and all that too in this video. But uh, you can see the ice. Everything's covered in ice around here. And uh, it's pretty dangerous conditions. 
but it not I had these trees all cut away but as you can see it, it knocked a tree over and but it, it's it's pretty I mean it's so uh, now we're going over here to the this is basically the lock corner right here and this is kind of looking so basically this is another lock line coming down so that's like 450 foot and then I'm going down basically the well is going to be over here as well as we'll put the um, you know the drinking well is going to be kind of right in this area here uh, we got that um, we talked to the uh, soil scientists yesterday for that the, the I guess it's the uh, ASO is what you would call them and uh, he, he's found he's pretty busy right now that everybody's building and I guess the interest rates are so low and the cost of materials are pretty high so I'm hopefully to uh, as you can see look at how, how thick the ice is I mean that's a good uh, half inch thick but um, but yeah so the property line goes straight down you can see some markers there goes straight down to the lake and we've been um, I haven't really been doing it recently but I've, we've been clearing and and getting this kind of cut in but uh, I think this, this, you know, the ice and the snow and everything on the on the terrain and the hills and everything kind of gives you a, a sense of the topography of the property. And um, I know the video probably don't show you how pretty it is, but uh, it's it's pretty 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 out here. And you can see the pier that we put in with the uh, tracks boards. I have a video on that on construction of that. We put that in, and then uh, that's our. Uh, carriage house we live in now currently and it's uh we've really enjoyed it and uh like i say once the house is built we're gonna my parents might move over there or use that uh, do it at airbnb or uh we'll have somebody living over there so it's a, it's a beautiful place and we really enjoy it Ooh, i don't know if you ice is ice is coming down boy yeah ice wow gosh there's a lot of ice it's a little bit of wind, and man, the, the ice was, man hit me in the head. <laughs> so you could you could see, uh, man, almost got knocked out here. <laughs> so, but uh, so yeah, this is uh, the property line. I just want to show you show you that line there going down, and it basically in the middle of the lake, right there is where the property line going across is, and it basically cuts across uh, in front of the pier. And comes down and we'll walk on down here to the, the, the corner part but uh, it's it's pretty it's cold now <laughs> it's cold out here but it's uh it's pretty I'm just kind of watching my feet I want to slide down this muddy hill here but you can hear the ice coming from the trees it's like a winter wonderland out here I mean it's really but uh, trying to hold the camera steady. So, uh, all right, so the line comes basically in front of the pier and then comes across to what I did. I took, um, it's a good idea, is take a coffee can. I think it's like a three pound coffee can. And I put it in, in the ground here. Let's see if you can see it. And this is the pin, and see so you can. I took a coffee can when the surveyor came after he finished. I took a coffee can and, and put around the pin, and then I put concrete around it. So you can see, you know, here, kind of the mud and everything, you know, because, but I got concrete around the pin, and I put a flagging tape on it and it uh basically it's it's a permanent and um i just want to do that so that it wouldn't shift you don't want that pen to shift and also when they, if they had to find the pen again once it's buried uh they easier to find it because that's a metal coffee can around it so it's a good um 
idea, you know, to, to do it when after the surveyor, because surveyor is expensive. I mean, I, I, this was about five, fifty five hundred dollars of surveying work on, on this property here. And um, I know there's a lot of uh, building cost before you even start building, you know, a lot of costs associated with, you know, you gotta get permits and you gotta get soil scientists and you have to get uh, the county to go through their different, uh, you know, permits and, and getting it subdivided and, and boundary line adjustments and family subdivisions. And, and uh, I, this is actually in an agricultural forest district um, so it has, I have about 50 acres here, at, you know, about four lots, 50 acres. Well, actually it was three lots and I made it a fourth one. And uh, we had to go through the county to get approval to get the, the agricultural forest district removed from this lot I'm standing on now, the parent lot. And that took about a year. It took about a year to get that taken care of. So, um, and it was, you know, kind of frustrating, but you had to be patient and the COVID delayed things also so that took some time but um but yeah let's go and, I, and also on this road when i put this road in I, I built this ditch over here and i have a video on putting this road in and the re uh, retaining wall um that i put in last year but i'm putting this ditch in i've got some slope um geo cell that i also put on the slope and put some rock on it to kind of keep the uh, erosion down and then I have a ditch going into a drainage culvert right here which you can't really see that well because it's kind of covered up but it's right in there and it's going across the road here and I got it going and you can see the end of it right there going into a basically a hole I dug a about a, a five foot hole there so the water and the sediment can go in there instead of going into the pond you can see it kind of started going in the pond and um, I wanted to kind of keep that from happening, so I uh, basically uh, dug a gigantic hole there so the dirt and everything could go into the hole before it went to the pond. So that's another kind of idea on erosion control. And uh, so I just did that contemporarily, you know, to, so it won't be such a, it won't be going into the pond, filling that in with sediment. All right, but I got, uh, here's some, some free items I got. I got uh, some retaining walls. Somebody was giving away about 200 of them. Uh, Facebook Facebook Marketplace, man. I, I love it. You know, people give stuff away there, and I sell stuff and buy stuff. and It's just a, a great site, you know, to, to use. But uh, there's some items I want to use, basically, to, to probably put on either side of the pond, uh, pier over there to kind of build it up. Because it's real low um, over there near the pier. I also put maybe two or three layers of those retaining wall bricks uh, next to the water line and then put uh, some red clay once this uh, slope I want to start taking this slope down and take some of this dirt and moving it over there to where the pier is to build it up but um, but yeah that's where I, I bought four or actually six uh, eight foot by 27 foot they're called geo cell cell uh, plastic and it's it's basically you spread it out it makes these little chambers or cells and it helps um keep the erosion down and when i put the rock in there i'll put the crushed concrete it will keep it from eroding because this hill you can't really tell in the picture but it's pretty steep um i have a transit that has a slope um measurement on it so i'll use that to kind of get the slope and um, bring it on down to make it more of a gradual slope so i can have my road coming across my dam dam here going straight up the hill i want to go straight up the hill basically into the house um the house is gonna have a basement on it so the, it's gonna have a drive through um, basement going out to that road we saw initially um so go right straight through the house there but here's here's the other property marker and i have it here and it's all got ice on it you can see but yeah, this might be a little bit better example but see i got a the coffee can and i put the uh metal rod and then I I got it so it's a permanent fixture this this wooden stake that the surveyors put on man it ain't gonna last for so long and, and then um so got got that going on and then um but then I got the the road here going and then actually this is going to be 
This is the property line coming this way. So this is where the new surveyed mark markers are for the new 8.794 acre lot, which I'm trying to <laughs> not slide down the hill. <laughs> oh man. So let's go through the woods here. I'm gonna say the hill's kind of steep. And uh, the surveyor marked it pretty well. Helps them come in here with some PVC pipe. And that's another good thing to do when you get your land surveyed. Get some PVC pipe and uh, you can put it in the ground so it's a more permanent fixture. And you'll see some of that that I have it over here on this other property line that you'll see. But I'm, uh, so I'm a little out of breath here. <laughs> I'm trying to keep the camera steady. But uh, well, hopefully you can enjoy this video. Like I'm walking through a wonder, wonder wonderland, man. I mean, it's and that's my pole barn there. And uh, it's kind of a hill. I'm going to keep on going. Make this marker here. All right. But the surveying, it took a little while. Um, the guy, he came came out about oh five times six times and uh keeps going and to this video i kind of want to make it because uh the, the fellow that surveyed he, he was a nice fellow and he was older and the fellow passed away um about two months ago so i kind of want to make this video to kind of remember him too because he was a nice fella and I know the COVID stuff was going on, and he didn't want to get didn't want really to get too close to anybody. He was scared of that, but I guess he had some other health conditions or something. But yeah, it's a shame. You just never know, you know. You got to really, really appreciate what you got, and don't take things for granted because you don't know how long you're going to have. But um, but yeah, I'm kind of like I'm going in the woods here, so I'm just going to kind of give you a picture of everything. It's nice too because you I don't know if you can hear it in the video or not, but you can hear ice and and stuff coming off the trees. But uh walking down here and uh you know, please you know make some comments if you like videos like this or you may make some more I can but that's a big big pine tree there man that tree's probably 150 foot tall it's a lot lolly um I got this woods um Split cut logged about five years ago, and um, actually probably six, well, yeah, five years ago, and um, basically it, it gave me enough money to uh, build the pond or the lake. So that was uh, I reinvested that money in that. Getting that done, but let's just follow this property line on down to this corner post. And basically, it goes, my property, it goes to Beaver Dam Creek. And Beaver Dam Creek goes into Dyson's Reservoir, which is a drinking water for one of the counties or cities around here, actually. So it's uh, pretty fortunate that nobody's going to be building behind me. Because it's basically uh, so like a little creek. Well, not a little creek. It's a good-sized creek. We'll come back there sometime. There's a lot of beavers back there making dams and and things that we can it kind of flooded the property a little bit but see here's the I'm still going into the property line here almost to the post all right here we go so this is basically the corner post right here and uh, you can see where the rod is and then uh, I took PVC pipe and I put tape all over it, <laughs> you know, and I stuck it up. That's probably about six foot up off the ground. And so it's really visible, you know. But you can see this is a Beaver Dam Creek, and it's, it's not really a creek. It's more of a, I mean, it's, it's good size. There's a lot of wildlife back here. You see the geese? Look at all the geese. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. A lot of geese, see there. 
And a lot of times they're in the, in the pond and they're probably going to the lake right now. See, they're turning around. And I bet you they're going to the lake. So when we go back, we'll probably see them. But um, this tree actually just fell right here. I guess the ice was a little too much for it. But, uh, but you can see the water. I mean, this, this creek here is flowing. You know, it flows on down. It flows on. This is, like I say, Beaver Dam Creek. I, I know I told you already, but it's, um, and then it's basically, um, it's right wide. It's probably, I would say, a good 500 feet, 500 feet wide through here. Um, when I first bought the property, it wasn't, it wasn't this wide. I think the beavers really, um, you know, blocked it up. And actually, I talked to the uh, Virginia Forestry about what they, what we could do about the beavers. You know, if we could kind of, if they can come trap them or get them or, you know. And he said, no, we don't do anything. We, you, you can shoot them if you want, but we don't uh, do anything for the property owner. So I was kind of disappointed in that. I thought they would, because I know, you know, these trees, they were, basically a lot of them are dead now. And uh, when I did the logging, they were really concerned about, um, you know, being back here disturbing this wetlands. It's, a, it's called a riparian buffer. And um, they didn't want you to disturb this area because it was uh, it was kind of a wetland area. And um, so when I called the forestry and asked them, hey, you know, these trees are dying and, and this whole area is getting destroyed. Um, they weren't really concerned about that. So I, I was really, you know, kind of said, wow, you know, it's amazing. It's kind of double standard, you know. But um, and also this pipe, you know, when you do your marking, your survey lines, see, I can see my, my pole barn is right over there. And I can, from standing over there, I can see this, this corner post where the tree fell over. You can't see it was so good, but, um, but yeah, you can, you can see it. So that's why you kind of, when you do your survey marks and everything, you want to have a, a nice pole and PVC doesn't go anywhere. I mean, it's, when I first bought the property, I put it in. That's so it's 1999. <laughs> that's when I put the initial, the initial one in. And then I added some more as the years went on. But, um, my property actually, it goes all the way back in that river area. But I didn't want to uh, add any of that to this because one day I might do a conservatory or something and put this uh, river uh, in a conserv conservatory, which kind of saves you on taxes. But we'll talk about it in another video probably. But let's walk back this way. And this is another, the property line going back towards the road. And, um, and like I said, I just wanted to take this to kind of have a blog you know, for my personal reference too, you know, that you can see how things were in this time, at this time. And it kind of gives you a little bit of appreciation and motivation, you know, as years go on. But you can see this is another stream. And there's a lot of water on this property. I mean, it's, I'm really fortunate to, to have, you know, this much water. And that's, that's why I was able to build a lake out here, you know, because I got so many streams feeding it. And, um, and that's, that's critical, you know, because if you don't, you'll have, you know, duckweed and watermill and everything else. And I know I, I had a video there where I made a, um, a pond screen, like a skimmer. And that's when I had the pond the first initially built. And there was a lot of nitrates in the system there. And it had to take time to get out. But, but also, one of the main reasons why I had it like that was because I had a screen around the overspill pipe and it was blocking it was it couldn't skim the, the duckweed and stuff off because it was um holding it back so i had to take when i removed that and let the you know let nature work and let the water and the rain and everything come and it washed it on down the pipe so that's why now it's a clear crystal clear pond you know it's it's working perfectly but uh this is a, another pvc pipe that i put in you know, when I first got the property and put a mark on it. Because this, this line is the original line between my neighbor. My neighbor's property is over here on this side. Man, look at that. Man. That ice is, is breaking those limbs, man. Ice is so much weight. It's breaking the limbs of these trees. And, and uh, I mean, it's, it's ice is falling constantly. And, um. This here, I put, we put three stripes, the surveyor puts three stripes on a tree, and they do that because that is a line tree. 
And they come in with a surveyor. I don't know if you can see on this tree or not. This is one of the original ones. But they put three slashes. Oh, here they are, right here. Here they are. So you got three slashes. You got one here, one here, and one here. This, these slashes, which I never really knew what they were until I talked to the surveyor. But they are basically, this tree is right dead on the line, on the survey line. If those slashes were on this side, that means the line, the tree, is on this, on the, on the other prop, on this, I'm sorry, I can't at least, I can't do both, but it's on this side. But if the lines, if the slashes are on this, on this side of the tree, that means the tree is on this piece of property over here. So uh, that's something I did not know um, until I walked with the surveyor, you know. Um, and that, that's kind of, and that's why those three stripes are. And that's why you look at, I have several trees like that, that I put the three, three ribbons on there. So you can, you'll know that that's a, that's a line tree. And um, so, and then you can, plain as day, it's right there, those three marks. So if you ever go across and you're in the forest and you see marks like that on a tree, uh, there's a reason, you know, that's, that's a survey mark. All right, I'm going through some briars here, so I'm coming up the hill. Let's see. Let's see where my marker is. I got a marker here somewhere. I'm trying to locate it. I'm going up the hill here. But uh, it's, it's a good size slope. The slope's probably about a, I would say, a good 75 foot tall. When I say the video, I gotta be careful because it's icy. And here's a big stump here too. That's, that's one of the stumps. You can see it too good. But um, that's one of the logs that they, when they logged, they got. And over there too, this one's sticking up. So they got several, and they did a select cut log. Um, and I tell you, I was nervous as I don't know what when they did it, you know. But after they finished, I said, man, that's, that was great, you know. Because they, they didn't tear the woods up, really, that bad. You know, they, here's another one they took. But the guy came in, he didn't have a, he, well, he had a skitter, but he didn't have a tree cutting machine. That's another PVC pipe I put in. Uh, he, he basically cut them by hand. And then came in with his skitter and just picked it up and, you know, drug the tree out. So, but yeah, I mean, you can tell, I mean, this, this, this forest was select cut logged and, uh, now there's no big trees in here, but these trees, I think they cut anything over 16 inches is what they cut. So, um, it really wasn't, I mean, I, I was really nervous, you know, but, uh, they, they did a good job. All right. I'm actually going to my neighbor's property now a little bit. But here's, um, look at this. Here's, uh, see, another tree. It doesn't have any ribbons on it, but I just noticed it. I just said, man, look at that. There's three, there's three slashes right there. And this is original, man. This is like 19, 1980, say 1989 probably, I think when they initially surveyed it. So those, those marks right there are in that tree, and they've been in there for 22 years. And I don't have any tape on it either. So I didn't, like I said, I just walked over here. And I said, gosh, you know, let me get this way, try to hold on this tree. And I saw those slashes. So that tells me right there that that's a line tree. And that line tree means that this tree is on my property. It's on the other side. So now I do see a tree down here that has marks on it. <clears throat> Ooh, hold on. <laughs> Golly, oh man, it is slippery. I gotta try to. Sorry about the camera, man. Sorry about the. But it is really slippery out here, buddy. But this is a pretty steep slope coming down. You can't really see how steep it is, but it's it's just steep. So I'm trying to get some footing. These muck boots are 